because we celebrate uh, the anniversary of the beginning of the independence of the, of the struggle for independence of my country. In 15 September 1810, Father Miguel Hidalgo and Costilla, uh, known as the father of the country, um, made the, the battle cry for independence. He called in the church of Dolores Hidalgo, in the state of Hidalgo, who has his name today, he called the Mexican people to, um, to go and fight for, its in the, its in the, uh, for their independence and for the sovereign of the nation. Since then, every year we celebrate this, uh, this event. Are there uh, any traditions Precisely, uh, every year in, uh, on the night of September uh, 15, as today, the president of Mexico, all the governors of all the states, the city council mayors, uh, the same as the ambassadors of Mexico around the world and the consuls of Mexico around the world, we, um, we do the same battle cry. We remember that emblematic uh, battle cry, repeating uh, the call made by, by Mr. Miguel Hidalgo for the independence of the country. We also add the names of the main heroes and sheroes, as it is said today, uh, who fought for achieving that important goal for my country. So uh, there are uh, certain words, certain phrases that are traditionally spoken on this day by the leaders or by the ones who uh, lead the, the celebrations? Right, well, we, we just say, uh, Mexicanos, uh, viva la independencia nacional, uh, meaning live the national independence, and long live to the heroes and sheroes that gave us a free and, and a sovereign country, basically. And then we, and, uh, then we, wave, we wave the flag and we listen pay attention to na our national anthem. And uh, after this uh, kind of official celebration uh, starts the unofficial, you know, like uh, dancing or is dancing official? <laughs> 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 well, uh, the official celebration continues next day on the 16th in Mexico City uh, with a military parade. This is very important because uh, this parade uh, it is made in front of um, this parade is made uh, in front of the president and the government and all the people uh, witness on the streets of Mexico City the beautiful uh, parade performed by our national uh, armed forces, the same the Navy, the ground forces and the Air Force with different exercises and uh, usually the uh, uh, diplomatic corps and the uh, dignitaries living in Mexico are invited by the president to attend this beautiful parade. Of course, the party, as you said, the party began today. We are uh, in, in, in party mood, if you want to put it that way, since today, uh, because it's the most important day of our civic calendar. Um, usually, we, uh, the families in Mexico City, in Mexico, in the, in the whole country, they listen to the, the, to the battle cry uh, performed by the president in National Palace. And after that, there's uh, lots of uh, firecrackers, uh, the same as in Romania, the same as you do in here. There's lots of firecrackers. It's a very beautiful spectacle. And usually, family gather in downtown or at home uh, watching this beautiful spectacle and have dinner together. Uh, next day is a day of visiting the downtown and going visit, uh, to see the parade, as I was telling you. And well, the fiesta continues with good food. With, mariachi. Uh, excuse me? With mariachi. With, with mariachis and with not just mariachis, with jarochos, with uh, all sort of, uh, all sort of um, Mexican dancers and uh, cultural and art performers and uh, yes this is a very important date for us um, as you said uh, uh, you made a connection between uh, mexicans and romanians uh, i believe that uh, uh, beside the many um, movies uh, that feature Mexicans or uh, artists uh, like uh, musicians that people in Romania know. Uh, I believe Romanians not 
know not very much about uh, Mexico, uh, even though we have like a common uh, Latin heritage. Uh, we spoke a similar language, if uh, a Latin originated language. So what would you recommend Romanians um, uh, to do in order to know better, to get closer to Mexican history or culture? Uh, yes, um, what I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm very sure you know it. Uh, Mexico um, is very well known in this country in the past, thanks to telenovelas. Uh, so telenovelas, are <laughs> uh, they really strengthened the, the, the knowledge of Mexico's everyday life uh, in Romania. And people, common people that I found uh, on my way when I'm on the street or visiting stores, whatever, and they know that I'm a Mexican, they always bring out the idea of telenovelas and they are so happy and fond of watching telenovelas when they were uh, kids and still some of them uh, watching those things, uh, those beautiful telenovelas, uh, opera soap, uh, soap operas are called in English. Um, at the same time, I am very fond of telling you that uh, radio stations, um, in, in Bucharest, that I'm sure all around the country, broadcast frequent, frequently uh, Mexican music. Yesterday, I was telling my people here at the embassy today that I was very surprised for the positive that yesterday uh, a local station in Bucharest was performing all day Mexican music. Uh, so I was feeling really in my country. So the idea of not knowing us very much, I guess, um, is uh, uh, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's not very accurate because I am sure that Mexico is very well known, not just because of that in Romania, but also because our food, our gastronomy, our uh, touristic destinations, and other, other, uh, and other amazing features that we offer to the world. And the original uh, tequila. And tequila, of course. I can find tequila everywhere. And um, well, <laughs> and, and also not just because of that. Uh, let me tell you that uh, we share so many things, including the um, the. Uh, peppers. We love to have peppers. Uh, when I first came to Romania, I ordered my first Romanian soup, uh, Chorba de Puy, and they offered it with, to me with a huge uh, pepper, very close or similar to a jalapeno pepper. So, and it was very, very hot. So this, this tells you, this tells you that uh, there's, there's a way to really establish contact, not just because we are friend countries and and we share so many things in the political and the cultural areas, but also because in our everyday life, we have, um, we have traditions and we, we, have, uh, we have so many things in common that we really, we really share things. Uh, besides uh, peppers, uh, did you find any dish in Romania that uh, uh, tastes like a Mexican dish, for example, or something that you really like here in Romania? Well, um, something that is kind of simple, not similar because cannot be said that it's similar, but the taste is, uh, is, is, is very, very close to the taste of Mexico is uh, sarmale. The only difference is that instead of being uh, the meat, instead of being uh, wrapped in a tortilla, uh, in a corn tortilla, you wrap it in, in, in the leaf. Uh, so, yeah. so, well, I would say that that the meat is prepared in a way that could be very close to the way in which Mexican food is prepared, especially these kind of dishes. Uh, I like very much palinka as a drink. Uh, we like it too. Tequila or mezcal, more to mezcal than tequila. I, okay. I like also uh, mamaliga, uh, sarmale, and uh, my wife, my daughters, and myself are very fond and proud and happy and in love with papanash. Ah, okay. I guess that That's... papanash is a great, great dessert. Really, <laughs> really very good. You have to be careful because uh, you can eat too much, but it's very, yeah. very good. Um, so uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate you again for uh, your national uh, day and ask you uh, about jokes. You know, uh, uh, Romanians have uh, a lot of jokes and they are happy and uh, have uh, a certain humor, uh, the Romanians. I believe also Mexicans from movies or from uh, people we've seen, they like to laugh. So if they like to laugh, uh, that means somebody at least sometimes te is telling a joke. Uh, so uh, what are uh, 
uh, your favorite jokes, for example, about Mexicans or your favorite joke, if you have, about Romanians? Well, there's so many, so many, many jokes. Uh, you're right. Uh, Mexico likes to, Mexican people like to make jokes all the time. Um, I guess we are experts in joking, the same as you Romanians. And this is a matter of, uh, of coincidence and a matter of uh, uh, a, very, a very nice uh, gesture from both cultures. Unfortunately, for the moment, I don't remember anyone. So okay. I, will, I, I promise to tell you one of these jokes whenever I see you personally. But for the moment, let's stay with the idea that we are friendly and we like to joke. But at the same time, we're very serious. We are a serious partner to Romania. We are friends to Romania. We are um, partners to the European Union. We have a very good cooperation in the bilateral and the multilateral level. And we will continue to enhance and to uh, um, foster this uh, relation between our countries, having in mind that last year we just commemorated the 85th anniversary of establishment of, the, of, of foreign uh, of diplomatic relations with our countries.